Hi, I'm Tom Zelenka. Now I'm just a beginner in the kitchen. In every episode of Carolina Cooking, I meet a different chef from a famous restaurant in the Carolinas Ooh. who'll teach me to cook their secret recipes mm. in just 30 minutes or less. Really good. Welcome to Carolina Cooking, shot on location at the mansion on Forsyth Park and the 700 Kitchen Cooking School. Now here's your host, Tom Zelenka. Hi, welcome to Carolina Cooking. I'm your host, Tom Zelenka. This is the show where we find the best chefs from the best restaurants all around the Southeast and we bring them here to teach us their incredible recipes. Today, we're actually making something that you'll all recognize. We're using a little Jiffy cornbread mix. We're gonna be making black-eyed pea hummus with some cornbread sticks. It's a Mediterranean dish with a Southern twist. And to teach us how to do that in 30 minutes or less is the executive chef from 700 Drayton in Savannah, Georgia, Chef David Hackett. How you doing, Hi. Tom? Good to see you. And you as now, well? Now, Jiffy Mix. Yeah. I've, uh, all the chefs have brought on and just, you know, large salmons. They brought on tuna steaks with nothing I've really recognized from my own cabinet. This is the first thing that I went, hey, I have this in my own cabinet. Yeah, I really wanted to use stuff that people already have in their in their cupboards mm -hmm. and really focus on a hummus. Again, it is a Middle Eastern dish. Yeah. Wanted to put a southern flair to it, a little twist that we do here at Southern. So this is the hummus in the bowl here. Correct. Got some black eyed peas. Right. And then these are our cornbread sticks right here. Correct. Right? And they're mm, they're good. Full They're of Parmesan good. cheese, mm -hmm. a lot of flavor. So where do we begin? Do we begin making the hummus or the cornbread well, sticks? We're gonna start by making the cornbread sticks. Okay, so we'll need that and I'll move this out of the way. I'll open a box for Oh, you. sure, sure. I, I, I've opened the box a couple of times before, so. You're familiar with this box? I'm familiar right, with how it opens up. <laughs> Sometimes I do it from the bottom, but usually, usually I get the top. As long as you get it open. Okay. So you add the uh, cornbread mix to the bowl. Alrighty. And you want all of this? Yes, we do. Okay. What I want you to do is just take the whisk uh -huh. and kind of stir the cornbread to break up those lumps. Well, it doesn't say that on here. Well, okay. this is when we get rid of it. All right, I gotcha. Okay, so stir it up. We use the whisk. Break up those lumps. Now we're off book now. There we go. We're, All righty. This is when you become a chef. All right. So that's... Throw away the instructions. Okay, we're gonna... We have three or four ingredients. We have our Parmesan cheese, which is grated. Mm -hmm. We have a whole egg. Okay. Corn starch to help absorb some of that moisture so they get a little crunchier texture. Okay. And our milk. So I want you to now add the ingredients to okay. our cornbread mix to make a batter. In this order right here, Parmesan cheese? You can add your Parmesan Alrighty. cheese. Now ordinarily when I do this, I add a little sugar. I like sweet cornbread. Well, Jiffy, if you taste on its own, it is sweet on its own. Yeah. If you want it sweeter, you certainly can add more sugar. Yeah, well, that's 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 me. You should add the starch. Okay. And, and the sugar thing, it doesn't say it on the package either. That's just me being a chef at my own home, you know, just being crazy and stuff. Well, they're only and guidelines. Like... Recipes are guidelines <laughs> right. for you to follow. You can create, if you want to add herbs to this, that'd be great. If oh, you want okay. to add, what, really, whatever you, whatever your whatever preference Whatever flavor is. you want. Sure. Gotcha. Well, let me drizzle in the milk here. All right. And is that just uh, whole milk? Is that oh. vitamin D? Sorry. It's just whole milk. Jack and dirty. All righty. And it will get nice and tasty. Thick. Nice and thick. Now it's starting to challenge me. That's okay. Fantastic. All righty. And so is that what we're going for? Just a nice stiff ball right. of dough? That's correct. That's all stuck up in the whisk there? Great. Bang it off a little bit. Hey, you might want to use your fingers. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, 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 uh, yeah, that's the consistency we want. Because okay. we want to pipe it out in a pastry bag. So we oh, do okay. want it a little, a little dense, but we do want it to work with it. Sorry. Does your wife let you do this at well, all? Well, no, no, no. This is why it's more fun because I have a crew, you know, and they come up afterwards and they clean up. Right. And it's just a lot of fun. And they laugh. They're like, oh, what a mess you made, Tom. That's so funny as they're sweeping up. And they give me these interesting looks. I don't know exactly what they mean. But oh, just on your eye there. You got oh, cornbread all thank you. I appreciate it. All right. I finally freed the last of the cornbread. Fantastic. From, okay. We just won't use that part. We'll just keep that in there as a baby rattle. Good. And now this is a what? This is a disposable pastry bag. You can pick uh -huh. them up at any grocery store okay. or a large Ziploc bag you can use. Oh, as a Ziploc well would work. To cut okay. The end up. Alrighty. What you want to do is you want to fold this down around your hand. Fold it down? Fold it down around oh, your hand. Gotcha. Open that thing up. You want to stick your hand in the center and kind of open the bag. Oh! There you go. And then, of course, we have if you a nice little hat. Yeah, and let's kind not a, forget to add our egg. Oh, yes, absolutely. You're getting ahead of yourself. All righty. I think on the box, actually, the egg is the first thing you add. I'm just going with what I remember from just the box. Just stir. All righty. 
There you go. We're doing a little different. So there's a reason why we add the egg last? I like to add the egg last just okay. to make sure it gets nice and incorporated. All right. Scrape the sides down. I gotcha. All right. Oh, perfect. All right. Now it's easier to stir. Uh, there we go. Great. Okay, now we'll so that's add the, the ingredients. consistency we're going for right there. Correct. Kind of a, okay. You want it soft, but yet still a little bit pliable. All right, I'll hold the uh, bag open. All right. And you'll spoon it in. Best thing to do is cup the bag with your hand. So hold your hand like that. Cup it. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Got it. Alrighty. Okay. When we come back, we're going to be making our cornbread sticks with Carolina cookies. Mm -hmm. I can scrape the uh, spatula. You can find the secret recipes of the best chefs in the Carolinas all in one book, the Carolina Cooking Cookbook. Find the Carolina Cooking Cookbook in Amazon.com and our website, carolinacooking.tv. Welcome back to Carolina Cooking. I'm here with Chef Dave from 700 Drayton in Savannah, Georgia. And we have all our Jiffy Mix in our pastry bag. That's and great. how do we get this stuff off the side here? Well, let's close the bag up. Okay. Lay the bag flat on the edge of a table, kind of like right. on a straight edge. All right, here, I'm gonna move this for a second. All right, we're actually gonna hang it off. We're gonna place our hand on the edge, and we're gonna squeeze it. Oh. As you can see, it kind of pushes yeah. all that down. That's impressive. And then we're gonna crimp it, you're gonna hold it. Okay. And what I want you to do is kind of give it one, one twist. Just one, okay. And then hold it upside down and kind of lightly throw it to the ground. Lightly throw lightly it to the ground. Lightly throw it to the ground. We want, you gotta hold on to oh. it. Oh, oh! Sorry, my mistake. Hold on to Hold it on and to sling it, it towards and the ground. Sling it towards the ground. We okay. want to try and. Oh, what are we doing? Are we trying to get this? We want to get all these air bubbles out of here ah. so when we pipe our sticks. I got you. Stand back. All right. There you go. Okay, that's enough. Oh, okay. There you okay. Go. okay. Good. Now you can see that a lot of the air bubbles have actually gone to the top because ah. the air bubbles are here. Yep. Yep. So we are going to snip the tip of our bag. Okay. Now, depending on how big you want the sticks, of course. Larger, larger sticks. That's good. I think that's a good size, right, right there. So that's a good size. Okay. I want you to do. Have you ever operated one of these before? I have not. No. Let me just show you one. Okay. Sure. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Twist it really good. Uh huh. Start. Use this as your guide. Okay. So you'll pipe. It's like a toothpaste. Yeah. See, there's no air bubbles. Mm -hmm. but there's a lot of air bubbles in there. When you go to take the sticks off, they'll crack on us. Okay. Okay. All right. So just lightly, lightly, like a tube of toothpaste. Like a tube of toothpaste. Now I've tried to do like write people's names on birthday cakes, and it hasn't turned out very well. No, you need more practice. Uh huh. We can actually do maybe like a T or arrows and stuff like oh, this. Oh really? You can make funky shapes with this stuff. Okay. With the corn rib, excellent. Is that a good stick? Yeah, we need about 30 more of those. All right. And how much time? Do we have all day? No, you might okay. do a lot faster. All right. Whew. <laughs> uh, go boys. There you go. All right. You're getting it. A little messy here, but yeah, okay. It's okay. Not like that one, though. Oh, no, no, no. Well, they, they started off straight and then they just went a little wonky. Here, we'll do one of these. And yeah, make a zigzag or a, are you making a T? I'm making a Z. Why a Z? That's my last name. Oh. I was always last in the class, you know, that sort of thing. There's a Z. We'll give you a shout out here to the restaurant. Are you gonna do a, a 700? Seven. Yeah, a seven. Uh-huh. Ooh. A couple, couple zigzag. That's can not how it circle? looks. Oh, can I go back and refill? I guess. We'll okay. see how it comes out. All righty. You do want the people to eat this stuff. Oh, all right. Well, would you ever make a 700 for the, you know? The uh, I'd probably attach them together and do a 700 kind of small. Let me show you. Oh, sure. Yeah, go for it. We were going to do, of course, you want all these. Uh, so if I was going to make a 700, uh -huh. I'd do that and I'd probably attach. I got gotcha. you. The items together, or the cornbread together. So as it baked, it baked as one. Okay. And that became actually like a cookie. Or if people would go, why did he put zoo on my food? Let me straighten that out. <laughs> All right, uh, a couple more sticks here. And then we're going to bake this in a 400 degree oven for okay. about 10 to 15 minutes until they turn a light golden brown. But before we do that, we're going to sprinkle it with grated Parmesan cheese. Oh. Is that enough sticks? You think we got enough here? I I'll think we got plenty of sticks. Right. This batch will make about two dozen sticks. Oh, okay. About approximately three inches in length. Okay. Okay. If they're straight, if they're like mine and all wiggly. Well, yeah, you probably get two. Okay. <laughs> so uh, just sprinkle this with parmesan. Yeah, kind of get it on there. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. Don't be cheap. 
So you actually want the Parmesan on right, the Right, not dough, on the paper. We want it on, on the paper. Then. I right, got you. Correct. Okay. <laughs> Always thinking about food costs, there aren't you? All righty. How long? And these go for how long? In the about 10 to 15 minutes 10 in a 400 degree oven. Okay. There's the zero. There's the other zero. There's your 700. All right. Excellent. So we're ready to put these we're in. We're ready. If you'll get the door for me, sure. I'll throw these in here. All righty. There we go. And so while those are baking, we're going to start on the hummus? That's correct. Okay, fantastic. We'll start with our first ingredient, black-eyed peas. Okay, because it is a black-eyed pea hummus. That is correct. All you right. can use dry. If you want to use dry, you got to make sure you soak them about 8 to 10 hours or even overnight. By soaking them in cold water, it'll help release some of that gas okay. that's in the beans. Then you drain <laughs> Before it gets water. into you. Is that's that what you're correct. saying? I got you. Okay. I'm not going there. Okay. Once you do that, you drain off the liquid uh -huh. and then put fresh water in there and salt and then bring that to a boil and until they're tender and then strain them and cool them. And this is what the ending product will look like. Or you could get a can, right. can opener, Open crank them up. it, rinse Make them. Make sure you, right, rinse them really good okay. with cold water and drain them properly. Okay. So these go in here? Well, first we'll start with the black eyed peas. Okay. And then we're going to add our tahini, which is a sesame paste. Tahini is right here. And then a fresh lemon juice, uh -huh. two cloves of garlic, salt and pepper, extra virgin olive oil. We'll drizzle that in as okay. we go. And some ice. And I'll explain the ice. Okay. So this is tahini lemon garlic what is this again this is white pepper oh okay and kosher salt so tahini goes in next yeah have you ever tasted tahini before no i never Let's have just stick your finger in there it's kind of like a sesame peanut butter uh-huh yeah nice huh yeah it's a little bit stickier than <laughs> peanut butter and you'll add that make sure to scrape it out with a rubber spatula oh, okay food cost remember yep i understand wow it is sticky i don't know if i'd put it on bread some know. people like it on bread. A tahini jelly sandwich? Right. Anybody ever tried that? I, I think tahini and apricot jam would probably taste really, really? good. Really? Yeah, I think you got to put marshmallow fluff on it, though. Oh, like okay. Really... All righty. Is that, is that you, good? You better uh, scrape I get it out more? a little bit better. All righty. It's not your first day. Ah, there we go. All right. Now we're going to work on the lemon. Uh-huh. As soon as you get that done. All right. Lemon. Okay, lemon. You want to roll the palm of your hand. Mm -hmm. What we want to do is really want to extract a lot of the juices that are in the lemon. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, so, so this really is just nice like soft. A, kind of crushes it up inside? Correct. Okay. Produce all the juice. And you'll just cut that in half, and then we'll squeeze the juice inside the bowl. Juice in the bowl. Correct. You squeeze it up, right? Oh, yeah, well, good. I thought that was a seed. Is it, it is, okay? but we'll just grind it up. Oh, <laughs> good, good, good. Nobody will ever know. On this side, too? Yeah, if you're also conscious about seeds, you can also hold it in your hand and the seeds will collect in your hand and let your oh. fingers be the strainer. It's another another option there. Okay. Yep, there went another one. Hang on. All right, and what else goes in? We're gonna add our fresh garlic cloves. Mm -hmm. Now and you don't have gone. to chop them up, you can just leave them whole. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna place our lid. Okay. And, and we're gonna just allow that to puree for a little bit. Okay. Until a lot of the, the beans are crushed. Okay. And then we're going to drizzle in our extra virgin olive oil. So that would be now? That's correct. All right. And how much is this, uh, is this a cup? It's just less than a cup. Okay. And why extra virgin? Well, you're not cooking yet. Okay. So you're, there's a lot of flavor in the extra virgin olive oil because it's a fresh, the first press. Mm -hmm. If you were using extra virgin to cook with, it's really a waste of money because you're, you're eliminating a lot of those flavors. Really? It's, yeah, I really waste the money, actually. Okay. So this is mainly for full flavor, extra virgin olive oil, the most predominant for the first okay. press. Now you can see our hummus is actually coming to a nice paste. Yeah. The trick to a good hummus is ice. Ice? Ice. Can I stop this for a second? Sure. So it's a it's a paste here. I'm gonna try you to might want to take the spatula and just here. kind of scrape the side oh, there. Oh, that's good. I can to, show to that. To get it. everything incorporated. Got ourselves a paste. And... Now it's very thick. Yep. Um, I never knew the trick to a hummus until I was uh, in the, actually in the Middle East. They've added ice. Usually hummus is traditionally made with chickpeas, mm -hmm. garbanzo beans. Okay. And one of their tricks was to add the ice to bring out, to actually cool the olive oil down. So the, it's almost like an emulsified uh, product. Like okay. when you make emulsified dressing, yeah. you add olive oil and incorporates with the vinegar. This actually cools the olive oil down. Start adding about five or six cubes to help bring the texture and the creaminess out. That's good. There's six? Yep. Okay. And we'll just allow that to puree. And do we do salt and pepper Yes, too? we do. Right now? 
You can do it now and then we'll stop it once a the pinch. ice cubes. Two pinches. Two pinches. And some pepper. pepper. Uh huh. And when we come back to Carolina Cooking, I'm going to be talking to Eris Ragazais and find out which wine he has paired with our black eyed pea hummus from Carolina Cooking. You can find the secret recipes of the best chefs in the Carolinas, all in one book, the Carolina Cooking Cookbook. Find the Carolina Cooking Cookbook in Amazon.com and our website, carolinacooking.tv. Welcome back to Carolina Cooking. I'm here with our wine and beer expert, Eris Ragazais, in the wine cellar of the mansion on Forsyth Park. And Eris, we are doing a Mediterranean dish with a southern twist. We're making ourselves some hummus, black-eyed pea hummus, and we're also making these cornbread sticks, which are pretty tasty. Well, I've got what is essentially a southern twist on a West Coast-style beer. Hmm, okay. This is a beer from the Sweetwater Brewing Company from Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. Uh, made by two fellows who went to school in Colorado, uh, decided that uh, beer was more fun than books and mm -hmm. wanted to go into the beer business. Well, I can, I can vouch that beer is more fun than books. Yes. You know. <laughs> and what they did was they went, a little bit of a head on there, I'm gonna, pour, okay. I'm gonna pour mine down the side a little bit. Yep. They decided to go and work at seven different breweries to get their expertise, mm -hmm. and then went back to uh, Atlanta and opened up a brewery. Oh, okay. Now All this right. is what they call their extra pale ale. Well, it's a, it's it's an ale. It's a it's an ale, but it's an extra pale ale. Extra pale. How, what I, how ales that... are usually made from darker roasted malts, and they're mm -hmm. usually a darker color. But this is going to be a little lighter, so a little less malty, a little more hoppy. Hmm. Instantly got the uh, flavor of um, malt in there. Yeah, it's deliciously malty, yeah. but it's got that nice cut from the hops to cut mm -hmm. through it. It's yeah. going to be a great little wash down for that uh, hummus. Yeah, so these guys are out of Atlanta. They went to Colorado and studied to uh, learn how to, or that's where they were studying? Yes. And, and that's where they, they gave up the books? Well, well, well they, there's a lot of good breweries in Colorado yeah. as well as Northern California. Okay. And that's where they uh, worked and wanted to come back here and make a, uh, a West Coast brew here on the East Coast. So honestly, seriously, this you just found a... Another excuse to get another beer in here, didn't you? I don't you? need any more excuses. Yeah, no, I know, I know. You always try to get a beer snuck in here. Well, I've actually got to get back and get my my sticks out of the oven. Okay. And uh, I've actually learned how to make hummus. A little, little something that I think everybody needs to know. Well, we'll be doing that when Carolina Cooking continues. You can find the secret recipes of the best chefs in the Carolinas, all in one book, the Carolina Cooking Cookbook. Find the Carolina Cooking Cookbook in Amazon.com and our website, carolinacooking.tv. Welcome back to Carolina Cooking. Well, our cornbread sticks are done. I think they're about ready. All righty, we'll pull them out of the oven. Sure. sure. I'll go ahead and get that for us. Ooh, uh, beautiful golden brown. They so all want came out. Look at that. We got the 700s came out. The Z came out. That's perfect. All righty. And so now what do we do to make this look all, as pretty as yours over here? Well, as you see, they, we poured the hummus in a bowl and yep. we allowed it to chill for about 10, 15 minutes. Okay. You do want it cold or you can serve it room temperature. It's really up to you, but I prefer okay. it cold. What we want to do is we want to spoon some of the hummus okay. into the bowl. Stay away from the edges? Stay away from the edges. Okay. Pile it right in the center. Height? Height. All righty. Probably about, uh, about two more. Okay. Uh, one more, great. All right, is that what we're going That's for? That's what we're going for. Okay. Now one of the tricks to, this is uh, one of the traditional garnishes of a true Mediterranean or Middle Eastern hummus mm -hmm. is the spiral in the center. Oh, okay. So what you want to do is you want to tap it. See uh -huh. how it's getting kind of loose? Yep. You tap it in the center and then you take the spoon and you spin the bowl. Oh. All right. So give, it, give it a shot there. Tap. Tap. And then uh, you nice take and the loose. spoon. There you go. Put the tip a little bit further down in it. Okay. Spin a little faster. There you go. You kind of want a little volcano yeah. in, the, in the center there. You can go a little deeper with that tip. Fantastic. 
Oh, you've done this before? No, never. That's no. good. Great. I have a good teacher. You put that Alrighty. there. Now we have uh, garnishes to go with this. Okay. We have extra virgin olive oil. Okay. We have paprika. Yep. A, uh, black eyed peas that we reserved. Okay. From the uh, mix and some parsley. Okay. I got to throw this on. You pour that around. Lake. Yeah, kind of a lake, the lake effect. Lake olive oil. Save a little bit though. Okay. Okay. What right. I want you to do is take the fork uh -huh. and dip it in the olive oil. Okay. And dip it in the paprika. Okay. And then dock the four corners, so to speak. I'm going to get two One. corners. I think you only get two, not three. three All right. Three is there we go. Okay. You only get two, you now only we, do four? I can't do four, no. I, I Just too much for me. All right. A little bit of this. I think you should put a lot of that. Don't be so cheap. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Put it nice and nice pile in the center there. A little bit of that. I got to put a little bit of this. And we got to grab our sticks here. There you go. I'll get a zero and a zero and a, a seven. seven. And we'll go ahead and. I'm lying there. Okay, dip them in. <laughs> Give it a taste here. Mm. To find out more about our recipe here, to find out more about our chef, you'd like to have a taste of beer too. I'll give you this one. To find out more about um, our chef, 700 Drayton, visit www.carolinacooking.tv. I'm Tom Zelenka, and that's Carolina Cooking. Mm. Cheers. Very good try. Not all the Go to carolinacooking.tv for the recipes featured on this show. Plus, on carolinacooking.tv, you'll find more information on the wine, chefs, and foods of Carolina Cooking. That's carolinacooking.tv. Carolina Cooking is filmed on location in 700 Kitchen Cooking School at the Mansion on Forsyth Park Hotel in Savannah, Georgia. For details on their hands-on cooking classes, call 888-711-5114 to book a class.